The snow leopard is a cat descendant that lives in the mountains of Central Asia. It was added to the IUCN Red List in 2003 because of its very small population. Also, hunters have been killing them to sell body parts and pelts of their fur for trade and medicinal use. Snow leopard has a strict carnivorous diet. Their neutral, multicolored fur also helps camouflage themselves in the rocks and brush when attacking prey in the wild. This cat preys upon the blue sheep, the mountain ebex, as well as marmots, hares, and game birds. The snow leopard lives in alpine and subalpine zones that range between altitudes of 3,000 meters and 4,500 meters. This big cat survives in cooler temperatures with their thick fur and snowshoe-like paws. This map shows the range of the snow leopard. This may seem like a large amount of land with the leopards, but the big cats are widely dispersed around these areas. There are only between 4,080 and 6,590 adult snow leopards left in the wild, and the number of offspring every generation is slowly diminishing as well. To prevent the extinction of these cats, snow leopards have been captured and sent to zoos and wildlife reservations to live in captivity. These big cats are brought to zoos to save them from population decrease. In zoos and some wildlife reservations, the snow leopards have no threat of predators or hunters. Wild snow leopards are very endangered because of these two reasons specifically. Falco Chirug is found in forests and mountains. They usually dormant in trees and tend to take over other birds' nests. To see them construct their own nest is yet to be witnessed and recorded. As you can see, the bird is content in someone else's nest in its own habitat. Falco Chirag can be found in Eastern Europe all the way throughout Western China. As shown in this picture, the Falco Chirag can also be found in every country that is considered part of the mountains of Central Asia. As shown, the yellow regions demonstrate where the bird is currently resident. In this picture, the orange regions are shown. They demonstrate that the birds are not breeding in those areas. And concluding with the largest region, which demonstrates where the birds are currently breeding. It is shown in the color bronze. The falco chirug's role in its ecosystem is to eat what it preys on. It preys on small mammals and medium-sized birds. It's primarily a carnivore. In addition to the mammals and the birds, the, this bird consumes amphibians, reptiles, and insects. If these did go extinct, there might be an overpopulation of its prey. The pictures shown are examples of a medium-sized bird and a small mammal. <laughs> Cause of the endangerment is an increasing number of food. The decreasing number of food increases the level of competition. They will either need to adapt or fight, keep on fighting for the same food in order to survive. They really don't have any predators except for humans which hunt them down. Conservation actions have been proposed and they are underway. There is not much we can do at the moment except for create awareness. We can stop people from hunting down these birds and harming them. Uh. 
This bird, the Gypetus barbatus, is often called as the bearded vulture. They are extremely large vultures that range in weight from 4 to 5 to 7 kilograms, having a total length between 94 and 125 centimeters, and a much larger wingspan of 231 to 283 centimeters. Adults are dark gray-black or gray-blue, with a slightly darker tail and lighter shaft streaks. Each side of the face is separated by a thin black band around the red-colored eyes, with long broad black bristles at the base of the bill that resembles a beard, hence the name. The forehead is a cream color, while the rest of the head is a maize color, often becoming more of a rusty orange color on the neck and abdomen. This coloration is caused by a bathing in an iron-rich water and variation in bathing time among individual results in different shades of color in these areas. Unlike most vultures, these lack an entirely bald head and feature an almost shaggy, fully feathered neck and legs, which is likely due to differences in diets. Their genders are very similar in appearances, but females are slightly larger. Usually, many Gypetus barbatus live in high elevations in mountainous regions. For example, they live on cliffs, gorges, precipices, and areas that overlook pastures and meadows where their prey reside. With an area like that, it gives the Gypetus barbatus a potential access to the remains of the hunted down prey. As a feeder of carrion, dead animal flesh, the Gypetus barbatus dispose of rotting remains and help clean the ecosystem clear of disease. For the impact of the ecosystem, its role is a biodegradation, which helps break down and decompose dead plants and or animals. They will wait patiently at a cliff edge until other scavengers have finished eating and will now finish their food. As a result, they are often on older carcasses and offal, carrying even the least desirable remains other scavengers would not eat. These birds are strictly carnivores, preying on their fruit from the sky. They usually seek energy from the remains of dead mammals when others are done. Their main diet is a unique one, as it consists of mostly bones, but instead of that, they also feed off from birds, reptiles, mammals, eggs, and carrion. The main reason of the species becoming threatened appears to be the non-target poisoning, direct persecution, habitat degradation, disturbance of breeding birds, inadequate food availability, changes in livestock rearing practices, and collisions with power lines and wind turbines. Despite the provision of target conservation actions, the European population remains susceptible to poisoning and mortally caused by power lines. In South Asia, the most significant potential threat may possibly be the Dioflanec a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug used in livestock and responsible for catastrophic declines in three of the region's ship species since the 1990s through ingestion and contaminated carcasses and resulting kidney failure. In the Himalayas of India, the species may have been impacted by the increase of feral dogs, which potentially compete for food. Also, rapid increases in grazing pressure and human populations in the mountains of Central Asia are caused by Habitat degradation. With the loss of this species, the ecosystem would change majorly. The bird extinct, the population of its prey would increase in huge numbers and overpopulate, like the reptiles it hunts and the mammals it preys. There would be a huge number of carrion lying around in the area, with only the decomposer like flies, insects, or bacteria to dispose of it, or may spread disease to the area. These are some of the suggestions for conservation actions by humans for the Gypetus barbatus. Conduct coordinated surveys to monitor the species' global trend. Assess the threat posed by drugs used in livestock like Dioflanac, as well as the impacts of climate change and feral dogs. Reduce the disturbance in and around the nesting areas. Militate against the impacts of wind turbines and power lines. Combat the threat of persecution through laws and awareness raising activities. Provide feeding stations throughout the species range. The Ronodon severicus is an amphibian. It's a type of salamander that it is also known as the Central Asian salamander. Its genus is Ronodon. The Central Asian salamander is endangered. That is only three categories away from extinct on the IUNC red list. The Central Asian salamander prefers to live in the headwaters of small streams, brooks, lakes, and rivers on the mountains. It lives in the southwestern region of the mountains of Central Asia. It feeds on the fish and invertebrates in the streams, brooks, lakes, and rivers it lives in. 
Based on our food web, it is eaten by the common merganser and the marsh frog. They are an extremely rare species and their population continues to decrease. In China, it is estimated that there are only about 6,000 individuals. In 1996, they were classified as vulnerable, and by 2000, they were endangered. They usually have a lifespan of about 15 to 20 years. The Central Asian salamander is endangered because their prey is becoming scarce, overexploitation for medical and other purposes, and habitat loss. Fishing practices on the mountains is taking away their food supply, making it harder for them to find food to survive. If the Central Asian salamander were to disappear from the ecosystem, there would be many effects. For example, their predators, such as the marsh frog and the common merganser, would lose a food source. It would be harder for those predators to find food, causing their species to possibly become at risk. Also, there would be an abundance of prey. Without them hunting, fish in the mountains, lakes, streams, rivers, and brooks would lose a predator. It would make it e easier for them to survive making the population grow. If humans wanted to conserve the Central Asian salamander population in the mountains of Central Asia, they could do a few things. For example, they could limit fishing practices. If we stopped overhunting their prey for our own use, that would help their population sur survive and grow. Without their food, they will eventually die out, so we need to limit the fishing so there is enough food for them. Also, the IUNC could protect their habitat to prevent habitat loss and stop hunting for them for medical or scientific use. The existing conservation methods are insufficient.